Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss the second part of the first module. Please make sure that you have watched the first part. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. Then only you will be able to get the notifications on time. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. Syllabus of the first module is given in the first part. Let us start. Question number 16. Law which state that adsorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution. Option A. Lambert's law. Option B. Boyle's law. Option C. Beer's law. Option D. Virchow's law. Which of the following laws state that adsorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution? The right answer is option C. Beer's law. Beer's law state that adsorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution. Question number 17. Name the instrument used for the quantitative measurement of sodium and potassium. Option A. Flame emission photometry. Option B. Spectrophotometry. Option C. Nephlometry. Option D. Fluorimeters. The right answer is option A. Flame emission photometry. Question number 18. Old man out. Option A. Graduated pipette. Option B. Conical flask. Option C. Measuring cylinder. Option D. Standard flask. Which of the following is old one? The right answer is option B. Conical flask. Question number 19. In vacuum collection tubes, which is the color of stopper for glucose determination? Option A. Gray. Option B. Light blue. Option C. Red. Option D. Lavender. The color of stopper for glucose determination in vacuum tainer tube. The right answer is option A. Gray. Sodium fluoride tube is used for sugar estimation and its color is gray. Question number 20. Physiological saline is option A 8.5% option B 0.85% option C 0.85 mg% option D 8.5 mg% What is the concentration of physiological saline or normal saline? The right answer is option B. 0.85% sodium chloride is physiological saline or normal saline. Question number 21. Find out the old man out. Option A. Barrel. Option B. Nozzle. Option C, hub. Option D, plunger. Which of the following is the old one? The right answer is option C, hub. Hub is the part of needle. Others are the parts of syringe. Question number 22. Which one of this is not a part of needle? Option A. Shaft. Option B. Nozzle. Option C. Bevel. Option D. Hub. Which of the following is, is not a part of needle? The right answer is option B. Nozzle. Nozzle is a part of syringe. Hub, shaft and bevel are the parts of needle. Question number 23. One of the changes will not occur in blood on keeping longer time. Option A. Decrease in glucose. Option B. Increase in potassium. 
ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ ഇൻഓർഗാനിക് ഫോസ്ഫറസ് വിച്ച് വൺ ഇസ് നോട്ട് ഒക്കർ ഇൻ കീപ്പിംഗ് ബ്ലഡ് ഫോർ ലോങ് ടൈം ദ റൈറ്റ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഇൻ കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി ഇൻക്രീസ് ഓൺ കീപ്പിംഗ് ബ്ലഡ് ഫോർ ലോങ്ങർ ടൈം ക്വസ്റ്റ് നമ്പർ തേർട്ടി ഫോർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ യൂറിൻ ഓൺ കീപ്പിംഗ് ലോങ്ങർ ടൈം ഓപ്ഷൻ എ കൺവേർഷൻ ഓഫ് യൂറോബിലിനോജൻ ടു യൂറോബിലിൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി കൺവേർഷൻ ഓഫ് ബിലിറോബിൻ ടു ബിലിവേർഡിൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് ആൽക്കലൈൻ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി പ്രസിപ്പിറ്റേഷൻ ഓഫ് യൂറിക് ആസിഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഇ ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദി എബോ ദ റൈറ്റ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഇ ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദി എബോ ദീസ് ഓൾ ചേഞ്ചസ് വിൽ ബി ഒക്കർ ഇൻ യൂറിൻ ഓൺ കീപ്പിംഗ് ലോങ്ങർ ടൈം Question number 35. Which of the following is not a volumetric glassware? Option A. Graduated pipette. Option B. Beaker. Option C. Standard flask. Option D. Measuring cylinder. The right answer is option B. Beaker. Beaker is not a volumetric glassware. Question number 26. Site preferred for capillary blood collection in infants. Option A, ear low. Option B, fingertip. Option C, toe. Option D, heel. Which of the following site is preferred for capillary blood collection in infants? The right answer is option D, heel. Question number 27. Bore size of needle used for vene puncture in adults. Option A 18 to 20 gauge. Option B 15 gauge. Option C 16 gauge. Option D 23 gauge. The right answer is option A 18 to 20 gauge. Greater the gauge size, lesser will be the diameter. Question number 28. What should be the ideal length of a tourniquet? Option A, 1 meter. Option B, 30 to 40 centimeters. Option C, 10 centimeter. Option D, 100 centimeters. What should be the ideal length of a tourniquet? The right answer is option B, 30 to 40 centimeters. Question number 29. The alkylating agent used as a disinfectant is option A, glutaraldehyde, option B, phenol, option C, silver nitrate, option D, hypochlorite. Which of the following is the alkylating agent used as a disinfectant? The right answer is option A, glutaraldehyde. Question number 30. Sterilization of heat labile substances by which of the following? Option A, moist heat. Option B, filtration. Option C, radiation. Option D, pasteurization. Which of the following method is used for sterilizing heat labile substances? Heat labile substance means heat sensitive substance. The right answer is option B, filtration. Filtration is used for the sterilization of heat sensitive substance. Today we are winding up. We will start with the second module in the next video. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel, then only you will get the notifications on time. And only one week is there for the exam, so prepare well. Thank you.